Warden. Don't worry, because I can't hear anything either. Download or distribution of this game software without the knowledge. Don't worry. We ain't doing none of that. Even though this is a free download on the B. Oh, God. Let's uh, turn that down. See, my headphones could be loud too. It's always hard to tell. Let's see, what it sounds like on stream. Give me just a sec. My headphones might just be loud. Turn them down a bit. We'll leave it at that. If it becomes an issue, I can always fix it. They sound fine, which is the weird thing. We'll go with that. We'll go with that, and if it's an issue, and someone decides to stop by and watch, uh, they can let me know. So this is like. It doesn't take place during the same, or it's not connected to the game, so there's like no spoiler or anything. You can play this and then play, start the game and you won't be like, oh, we did this in the demo. From what I've read. So let's, let's, let's just get in there and try to survive. Try to survive some, some, some dang in rampa. This means you may start by exploring the school or just skip ahead to the class trial. During the class trial, the evidence you gather while exploring will be presented as you debate. And then you start from the beginning. Yes. Start from the beginning.
I'm excited. I really enjoyed the second one. I didn't play the first because I watched the anime, but... I enjoyed that, too. I do know in this, you actually play as, like, a, a real ultimate. Like, because in the first one, you're... Of course, you were, uh, what's his face? I don't even remember his name. But you were the ultimate lucky student. And that kind of was just, like, your ultimate lucky because you won a raffle. And that wasn't really expressed as, like, a, a skill in the first game. And then the second one, you're nobody. Important. Uh, at the beginning. And then you find out, like, oh, yeah, you're supposed to be the ultimate, like, new despair or whatever thing. Something. So we took a normal student and did shit to him. Like, and that was you. And then in this one, you're just, you're the ultimate pianist. So it's not like you're in a position where it's like, well, I'm not like these other people. You are. You're just another, you're just another ultimate. You're the ultimate pianist, if I'm not mistaken. Kaede Akumatsu. My last name roughly means passionate red maple tree. It doesn't really fit me, but I still like my last name. Oh, wait, who am I even talking to? I was, talk t bleh, I was walking my usual route to school when... Why is it so dark? Hmm? Oh. Kaede. Huh? Where am I? Is this... a classroom? Yeah, it's a classroom, alright, but I don't recognize it at all. Why... Was I sleeping here? Oh, are you awake? Good morning, Kaede. Why are you here? Huh? Who are you, and how do you know my name? Do we know each other? I don't remember you, though. <laughs> Sorry, if I scared you, let me introduce myself. My name is Makoto Naegi. Mako Naegi, I'm that's what it is. You're one of the ultimate lucky students. Well. I guess now you are the only lucky student. I killed the other one. Oh, hang on. Old work stuff. Alright. I'm the ultimate lucky student. What's up, Makoto? Huh? Ultimate lucky student? Yep. Yeah. I'm a student at this academy. I don't believe that. Every year they choose one student in the whole country by lottery. And they attend this academy as the ultimate lucky student. This is supposed to be about Hope's Peak. I see. Something's not right here. Only one student in the entire country. That's amazing. You must be really lucky. Mm, I didn't know luck could be considered an ultimate talent. You'd be surprised. <laughs> I guess. And I suppose I'm your upperclassman. Yeah. Nice to meet you again, ultimate pianist Kaede. Huh? You're you're my upperclassman? I'm very sorry, Mr. Makoto. I thought, <laughs> don't worry, and no need for the mister. Huh? Wait, now that I think about it, I haven't even introduced myself yet. 
How did you know I was the ultimate pianist? <laughs> oh, information about the new students is pub is public record. I just looked at that. Um, new students. I already attended high school, though. Hey, Makoto, where are we? It, what is this academy? Hey. Maybe it's best if, to just show you. Did you try checking that desk? That desk. All right. Hey there, I'm your... I'm sure you're confused right now. You're thinking, where am I? Well, I can't explain that, but I can give a basic explanation. I can't explain that, but I can give a basic explanation. The con what? But I can give a basic explanation, the controls? Yo, typo. Worst game ever, zero to 10. Minecraft better. Uh, use the left stick to control the reticle on the screen. When you have a target in your sights, press the X button to investigate it. Use the right stick to control your view, get a good look at your surroundings. You can also press the R1 button to smack objects around. Who knows, you might sign something amazing. You can always press the L1 button to return objects to their original position, so relax. However, not every object is able to be moved. Thank you for understanding. If you press the triangle button, a mysterious investigative power will activate. Sorry, I know this is a lot of information. But if you forget anything, you can click the options button to view the controls. Investigate this place thoroughly. That's how you progress the story, you know? Alright, mysterious voice. Oh, oh, this is... Oh, God. <laughs> Get out of my way, desk. This is weird not playing on the PC. Uh, I can see moss outside the window, but there's barbed wire on on them. That's some freaky barbed wire. Why are the school windows covered in barbed wire? Ooh, so the D-pad also moves you around. So I push right and like you move left, but I guess it's you're looking more it's your character's looking to the right maybe because then no because then up looks up and then down looks down is it inverted what is happening oh you can't change the controls Ooh, i can't change that that's weird i don't like that left and right is okay all right we'll we'll, we'll deal with it I was resting my head on this desk when I woke up. You, I drooled a little on it. I need to clean that later, so on this desk there's... Letter? If you want to progress the story, come to the gym. Okay. But please be careful, there are people wandering around. If you talk to them, you'll end up having to listen to their introductions. Deja vu. I've just been in this place before. Uh, sorry, there's no time for that right now. Anyway, come to the gym. Seriously, please. Seriously, please? What do they mean by please? I feel like this is a prank. But I wonder what's at the gym, and who are these other people? I checked my desk like I was told, but I've, I'm even more confused now. Hey! Makoto, does this mean there are other people in this academy besides us? Yeah. You aren't the only new student everyone's waiting for. for ugh, you aren't the only new student. Everyone's waiting for us outside. It might be good to greet everyone before we head over to the gym. Of course, if you wanted to, you could go straight there. It's up to you. Yeah. Okay, got it. Wait, I'm a new student? What does that mean? Jeez, what is happening? Why is this happening? What the hell is this academy? You can leave a room by pressing the circle button or interacting with the door. I mean, wait, well, I guess we did play the other game. Did I switch to a controller? I think I did. I think I used a controller even for the PC version. Was the left stick always the look around button? And was this always inverted like that? It's fucking weird, dude. Probably should have talked to Niagi some more. Well then off you go, find your classmates. Oh! oh. oh. 
back to the classroom. I forgot how weird the controls are in this game. Maggie, talk to me. Oh no, he's gone. Oh, all right. Kind of ruined that. Well, what's up, dude? Hey. Oh, hey there. You guys get kidnapped too? Is that what happened? Have we all been kidnapped? I guess I'm blocking the days, huh? I'm not really blocking anything down here. So let's just, uh... uh that, all that's blocking is the, 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 the music, which I guess is fine. A little music thing. But you can still kind of see it, so we're good. Oh! Ooh! That's interesting. Well, you both look alright. That's good. Hmm. That's interesting. Huh? I don't know this person. I don't know how. Oh, what happened? Oh, oh, oh. They went away. Oh. Oh, that's your. That's just like how I'm saying it? Ooh. That's interesting. That's right. No. That's right. That's right. Huh? What is this? This is weird. Let's stay. Well, let's stay like in the middle. Yeah. Totally. Hey, let me ask you something. You guys remember how you got here? Um. I don't really remember, but maybe Makoto knows. He seems to be a student of this academy too. You can choose how you, how you engage, like how you sound to the individual. Interesting. Oh. Oh, is that right? No. Turn my... Turn this... there. Okay. Yes, but even I don't fully understand how I got here. What the fuck is going on here? Huh? Really? Actually. This is I don't mm. You got here? I guess that means everyone here is the same. Huh? Everyone? No. I asked the others too. They all said they don't remember. So the others don't remember either. You got me. It's like we all have amnesia or something. I guess so. And that's not true. Wait, amnesia's a stretch. We're probably just confused. I'm sure we'll remember eventually. Sure, it could be group hypnosis. Maybe brainwashing. This guy. <laughs> In any case, I hope we remember soon. That's a shame. Otherwise, I'll end up... I'll end up the outcast. Mm. The outcast? What do you mean? How should I to tell you the truth, how I got here isn't the only thing I don't remember. I also forgot my own talent. Oh. What? What happened? Oh. I think I hit X. But here we go. Mm. 
Now, I don't... Interesting. Ultimate magician, ultimate child caregiver, ultimate keto master, ultimate cosplayer, ultimate artist, ultimate inventor, ultimate detective. Didn't we already have one of you? Ultimate astronaut. Oh, ultimate tennis pro. Ooh, I don't like you. Dislikes cars, likes extra. Just, I'm not sure if I know what that means. Ultimate Supreme Leader. Oh, I'm not gonna like you. I can feel it. Ultimate. Ooh. Anthropologist. Is that. I mean, I see the roses. Is anthropology. Is that insects or flowers? Am I. Okay, Google. What's anthropology? Anthropology, the study of human societies and cultures and their development. I was wrong on both parts. That's humans. What the fuck is your outfit? You psychopath. Ultimate robot. Interesting. Uh, I like how they have a chest size. I'm guessing that is Ganta Gokuhara. Anyone like connected to the old place? I'm trying to see. Hmm. I like her. She's probably gonna die. Because <laughs> I like her. She's cute. Ultimate maids. But I like my character too. They're pretty interesting. Alright, well that's cool. Play out of the academy. Okay. Alright, let's get back to the game. What? You got me. Why is he few? I'm in trouble. I know I must have been some kind of ultimate. I just don't remember. Is that true? Yeah. Of course it is, but then again, I don't blame you for not believing me. You are really quiet. Yeah. I'm gonna turn the volume down. A smidge. Turn the voice up. I'd say that's 50%. I can't remember my ultimate talent at the moment. But I promise, I'm not a bad guy. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, buddy. Ultimate. Mm. That's right. Oh, Makoto, you saw the documents about all the incoming freshmen, didn't you? He's not gonna know. He's gonna go, oh, fucking. Well, in the document I received, it didn't say anything about Rontaro. Huh? Yeah, it's also just like that coming. He's the same as the other main character. <laughs> then maybe I'm here by mistake? To be honest, I don't remember anything about being a freshman either. What? No, that's not true. You're an ultimate student, without a doubt. Why are you so sure? You sound awfully sure. Yeah. No, it's not so strange that you weren't on the document. It only contained public information. Some ultimates don't want their talents known so openly. Yeah. I wouldn't worry about it. One day, your talent will become clear. That's true. Well, well I'll take it. For someone who can't remember his talent, he does seem doesn't seem to shaken up about it. Actually, is it weird that I'm not really bothered by the fact that I don't remember my talent? Huh? What? 
Looking forward you know, to it. No, I actually kind of look forward to finding out. I wonder what ultimate I am. <laughs> anyway, it'd be nice if we could get anywhere for a while. Huh? Really think it's going to be that easy? Huh? What do you mean? No. Nothing. Just a feeling. <laughs> Did he read my mind? Like, is that what just happened? Can you read minds? Hey, don't worry about it, alright? I thought he would be a pretty chill guy to talk to. I have no idea what's going through his head right now. Alright, so I changed the controls. Oh, I don't, oh. Alright, I don't like that either. I was hoping that'd be a little more comfortable. We'll just have to go with the normal defaults. Oh, that got really loud. music though well oh, this guy looks scary he's so big and muscular excuse me huh thank you oh thank you huh oh, thank you sorry oh sorry for scaring you all oh, is he a teddy bear not in the sense of monokuma but the sense that he's like a huge dude but like super kind um got a scary looking Gonta scary looking. Most people not want to talk to Gonta when me meeting for the first time. Oh. Cause Gonta gentlemen. <laughs> so like gentlemen, Gonta say thank you. Thank you for talking to Gonta. Yeah. Uh, um, thank you for being so polite. He looks scary, but he doesn't seem very scary at all. Oh. All right, Gonta need to make introduction. Um, Gonta's name is Gonta Gokuhara. Uh, Gonta's talent is ultimate entomologist. Gonta want to become gentlemen, becoming true gentlemen. Gonta's goal. Mm. I see. So you're Gonta. That's a really cute name. Really? Thank you. Yeah. Oh, you're actually pretty nice. Silly me for being so scared at first. Maybe. I see, cause Gonta's scary looking, right? Sorry. Oh, sorry, that's not what I. No. It's okay. Gonta used to it. Gonta called Scary since he was a kid. Um, since you were a kid, huh? Oh, you said you're an entomologist. What's... You, mean? you like bugs, too? Huh? Huh? Bugs? Well... Do you, ooh, do you huh? hate bugs? Wait, what? But how? You hate bugs? Uh, no, of course not. I don't hate them. I love them. Thank goodness. Oh, okay. That's good. No bad person likes bugs. Um. Uh, yeah, you're right. <laughs> Even if you didn't like bugs, I wouldn't want to break the news to Gunta. To be honest, I don't really like bugs, but I should keep that a secret. Alright, hey, Gunta. You stay over there. So. Hmm. You could be a girl too, and you would just be thrown in there. You like be like the secret, secret detective, who's a who's a who's a girl, but disguised as a guy. But I was curious if there was equal number of girls as there is guys, and there is. But it was also there's also a button to run. Oh, L one. doing here something's not right I wonder if that person's the ultimate student he's not he is uh, not that 
turn me down a bit. Turn the candy down. There, that's fine. What's up? <coughs> oh. Hmm. oh, hey. Makoto, something wrong? Alright, yeah. dude. Hajime, this is Kaede Akamatsu, the ultimate pianist. Okay, so these two know each other already. So. I think we're in some kind of like pre simulation thing. Maybe. Not a hundred percent sure yet what's going on, but that's that's my guess. He's also your upper class in Kaede. Oh, he's another upper class, and I better turn on the charm then. Um, I'm on Kaede Akamatsu. Nice to meet you, sir. My name is Hajime Hinata. Ooh. I think I'm a great ahead of you. But either way, nice to meet you. Your voice is way different than in the anime. Slightly. You just, or in the old video game. I didn't watch it animated with you. You sound super different. I don't remember you having such a young voice, but alright. Damn right, it's a question mark. Hmm. I think you think you're a great ahead? What do you mean by that? Well, I don't really have an ultimate talent like the rest of you here. Huh? Not an ultimate? Well, Hajime was a... We... Well, Hajime, we have seniority. But she's the protagonist this time around. Yo, what the fuck is this game trying to pull here? Protagonist? Right. Oh, well, if that's the case, then I guess you are an upperclassman of mine. Feel free to talk to me if you get... If you've got any problems, Kaede. Um, thank you very much. I thought you only ultimate students were gathered here, but I guess that's not the case. So what do you mean by protagonist? What the hell y'all doing to me? Oh, you're a cutie. A tootie. Die. Um, everyone who's like, oh, I really like this character is gonna get offed at the beginning and is like, fuck your feelings. Yaha. How are you? My name is Angie Yonaga. I'm the ultimate artist. Your voice is great, by the way. Angie Yonaga. I... The god of my island, Atua, is always with me, speaking to me with his divine voice. Well, she's certainly devout. Um, do you specialize in paintings or sculpting? Uh, I do both. I draw, I draw drawings and I sculpt sculptures. But Atua's the one who makes the art. I merely offer my body as his vessel. So divine! How divine? I see. I see. That's interesting. If you don't mind, can you show me some of your work, artwork? Of course, of course. In return, will you make an offering? Huh? An offering? Uh, Every Monday and Wednesday morning on my island, a truck comes to collect offerings. That sounds oddly similar to putting out the trash for pickup. But, but... Don't worry, don't worry. When I say offerings, I mean a pint or two of your blood. Don't worry. Sorry. I'm a bit anemic, so I'll pass. I don't know if she's friendly or not, but she's not easy to approach. Is that it? Yo, can I leave? Oh. Oh, now we're in a room. That, all right, that freaked me out. Ooh. Hey, what's up, bro? This must be the dormitory for the new students. What do you mean, this? How do you not know? See, in this room, it moves normally. Up and down moves up and down. Right turns right, left turns left. Very weird. Um, what's your name? Oh, my name is Sumugi Shirogane. I'm the ultimate cosplayer. I love you already. Let's be super friends, friends forever. That's right. Oh, my name is. She already said that. Yeah. Ultimate cosplays. I guess. So when like we come across as like we don't know who this is, they were in costume. It's gonna be her. 
I'm planning out these murders before the game has even come out. No. I'm just waiting. And there's a killer, and it was in a costume. It was you. I mean, it sort of makes sense. You had this strange, almost, almost scent of pheromonal scent about you. I see. But anyone who looks at your body can tell that your pheromones are off the charts. What are you talking about? Uh -huh. I don't really like being watched by people. Actually. I just like making cosplays. I'm fine with others wearing them. But. But lately, more cosplayers are putting themselves before their characters. You're right. You are getting really close. I'd rather wear my outfits myself with love than, oops. Then give them to such people. Oh, mm. uh, you're pretty intense. Oh. It makes me happy when I get to show people the outfits I made. And thanks to my sponsors, I can use materials that are just plain expensive. I see. Oh, well, of course the ultimate cosplayer would have sponsors. No. It's not a big deal. People just crowd around like I'm a panda at the zoo. Mm. That's so amazing. You're pretty much a celebrity, you know? Cool. <laughs> can I look at how this... this uh, during react, press R1 and accept a response. This does not affect the game at all, so please use as you like. Oh, what? It doesn't? Oh, okay. So I guess it doesn't matter. I am Hirumi Tojo, the ultimate maid. I like your please outfit. Please let me know if you require huh? my service. Huh? That's right. I understand, but you might be right, but you might be right, but you might be right, you might be right, you might be right. I don't get it. Then what's the point in using it? That's wrong! I see. The ultimate sounds like a really cool talent. Even among the new students, Kirumi has a reputation. She's clear headed, good at sports. And excellent, an excellent student, and a maid as well. In fact, she's so perfect that she can complete any request. Huh? What? She's that amazing? I do not agree. Please, you're exaggerating. You remind me of Tubi. I will not complete any task that is asked of me. That's wrong. That's wrong. I received a request to annihilate a rival nation, but as it was impossible, I rejected it. But being requested to do that is pretty impressive on its own. Mm. Rumor has it she's all, was also a bodyguard for a head of state, for heads of state. I do not agree. I've only been employed as a maid, not a bodyguard. I see. But you've been hired by so many important people. You're like a super maid. She's how I imagine the ultimate to be. Not only is she talented, but she's composed. Well, she's a cool one. Why are there pictures on my door? On the front of this door has my portrait. No, not just mine. Makoto's and Hajime's portraits are on this door, too. What does this mean? I should open the door and find out. It's locked. Nope, it won't open. I guess it's locked. Yo, hey, little dude. Oh, he's the ultimate tennis pro. You... It's an old story. That voice, though. It's so soothing. Ryoma Hoshi. The man called the ultimate tennis pro no longer exists. I'm nothing more than his empty shell. Alright. I've seen you in the newspaper before, I think. The tennis prodigy who single handedly took down a mafia. What? Huh? You took down a mafia by yourself? Yeah. Using his still tennis ball, he blew a hole through their heads one by one. Damn. What the hell, really? <laughs> so you know that much already. What do you think of the loser before you... Well, what do you think of the loser before you who used to use his talents to kill? But why would you throw away your future like that? Jeez. Mm, because I didn't need a future anymore. Huh? No. No, it's nothing. It's not like me to talk so much. Anyway, I'm warning you. It's dangerous to just walk up to a killer like me. He's... As he said that, he turned his back to us. <laughs> he turned his back. Okay. Oh, I already talked to you. This is like a dormitory thing. Uh, well, let's go here.
Oh. Uh, oh. Was there another door in here? That's not a door. Alright, we're just gonna assume they're all locked. Should we? Yes. Let us continue on with the story. freshman in this academy too? Uh, uh, yes. I don't remember much, but it appears that is the case. Shinji have an ultimate talent as well, right? I'm Shuichi Saihara. They call me the ultimate detective, but... Whoops. That title doesn't belong to you. Huh? You're a detective? That's amazing. No. Uh, no, I don't have the credentials to call myself a detective yet. That's right. That's right. I just happened to solve a case that I came across, and now people call me that. No. Not, me, not many people can just happen to solve a case. You should be more proud of that. Yeah, that's Oh, right. yeah, my name is Kaede Akamatsu. I'm the ultimate pianist. Nice to meet you, uh, um... Michi. Nice to meet you, too. A tech he doesn't look that reliable, but maybe I can talk to him if I have a problem. I'll just wait here. This situation awkward. I, for I keep forgetting he's with me. Oh. It's a monitor for communicating with us, but nothing's displayed right now. I wonder if these monitors have been installed all over the school. What's up? Hey. What are you looking for? Alright. Damn. Don't sneak up on me, bitch. I literally just met you and you're already calling me a bitch. Hey. Hey, your vulgar language is uncalled for. Just who are you anyway? Hey. Uh, seriously? You don't know who I am? I'm the gorgeous girl genius whose good looks and golden brain will go down in history. I'm the one, the only, the legendary ultimate inventor herself, Mui Ruma! Alright. Um, I've never heard of you. So what kind of things do you invent? I make all kinds of gadgets. One that lets you type while you sleep, read while you sleep, even ones that let you eat while you sleep. I'm sensing a theme here. Why does everything involve sleeping? Sure. I was inspired after I realized how much time people waste on sleep. You're not wrong. <laughs> Though, this one time I invented these really stupid eyedrop contact lenses as a gag. Huh? Wait, really? That's your invention? Some of my friends wear them. Ah! Shh. Your friends sound like total plebs. That invention was nothing. It doesn't make you more productive while you while you sleep, so it was a failure. Just like you. Damn. I signed the patent rights over to some company and never looked back. That seems like a waste. It's way better than your two stuff while you sleep inventions. Alright. I'm gonna hit stuff and see what happens. Yeah! Fuck that thing. Fuck this thing. Alright, later. Um, thanks for waiting. Okay, no problem, shall we? I'm guessing it's not gonna let me in there, right? This, I can't go in there. Yeah, that's what I thought. I feel like some people's gonna get disoriented by this cursor movement. Ah, oh, level up! That's right, you level up from walking. Ooh, this guy. Or, I'm assuming guy. What is it? Ooh, you're creepy as fuck. You wonder who is this? Yes, I shall make that clear first. My name is Korekio Shinguchi. I am called the ultimate anthropologist. Yo, I didn't know what that was. Like, 
30 minutes ago. I did. I just didn't know it was a thing that I knew it was. But I know now. So, I'm sorry. Anyways, the ultimate anthropologist, this guy. Mm. This freaky ass mask. Korkio. Korkio? Oh. Please call me Kyo. As for anthropology, would you like a simple explanation? I see. Uh, sure. <laughs> anthropology is. Studies customs, legends, folk tales, songs, and much more. There may even be customs in your daily life, the origins of which you do not know. Let's see. For example, certain aspects of birthdays or New Year's celebrations. Anthropology sheds light on traditions and customs such as these through rigorous analysis. I mean, your character is really cool. Your talent just seems weird. I'm sorry. Here's a study that examines the thought behind culture, faith, and customs. Mm -hmm. it, it, I feel like they ran out of ideas, but they already had a character design, so they said, fuck it. But then I'm gonna play the game, and he's gonna be like the coolest fucking character in it, and I'm gonna look like an asshole. But we shall see. Okay, I sorta of get it, but not really. It sounds like a lot of fun, though. That's correct. Well, of course it's it's fun. It is a study focused on humanity. Beautiful. Ooh, you're don't do that again, ever. I believe that human beings are creatures who possess infinite beauty. Huh? What? Hi. I find all aspects of humanity, even the ugly parts, to be beautiful. Including death. Do you think death is beautiful? And you're gonna kill someone because you think death is beautiful? I got you figured out, Keo. Anyways, our present situation is rather intriguing. What beauty will I be able to witness here? Humanity is beautiful. Uh, people are wonderful. This guy looks like a creep. And it turns out he is one too. Fucking get him, Kaede. Kaeda, what the fuck's my name? Kaede. Yo, she's an O type blood. I'm that thing. There's a couple of them. Why do you have a question mark? Just say nothing. Dashes, that's a dining hall. Warehouse. Am I allowed in here? Oh, I am. Whoa. Yo, it's the robot. Hey! Okay. Who are you? Aren't you the ultimate leader? Please stop! That boy in white is chasing that other boy in the funny clothes. What's happening here? Aren't you? You're the ultimate. Oops, I didn't mean to hit that button. Come on, wait up. Let me touch your body a little. I've always wanted to be friends with a robot. Huh? What? A robot? What is it? Are you another robophobe? That's enough. Wait. Oh, nope, he's right. Okay, he was he was saying. I thought he was saying, Am I the same as this guy? But no, he's I guess he caught on to my shocked expression and thinks I don't like robots. Okay. I have a recording function. If you make any robophobic remarks, I'll see you in court. Hey. Wait, you're a robot? Are you for reals a robot? Please stop! I am not just any old robot. I am K1B0, the ultimate robot. But please, address me as Kibo. Okay. Kibo. Um, cool. Ultimate robot. Hey. That's not fair. You can't be the only one who gets to show off. I'll introduce myself too. Yeah. Oh, um, go ahead. I'm Kokichi Oma, the ultimate supreme leader. I don't think that's fair. Where's your cool hat? A robot and supreme leader? Neither of them make any sense. By the way. By the way, I learned the hard way that a robot's breath smells like gasoline. How rude. My breath does not smell like gasoline. I am powered by electricity. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. That is not funny. Yeah. Right? Of course you don't think I'm funny. Robots can't understand human humor to begin with. Do not mock me! 
I've studied the complete history of stand-up comedy. I think you should have just watched stand-up comedy instead of studying it. Um. Plus, I may have the appearance of a robot, but I am a high school student just like you. Um. I think you have that. Yeah. I was created by Professor Itabashi, the leading authority in the field of robotics. He installed me with a strong AI, capable of learning and maturing like a human brain. That's why, at the time of my creation, I didn't know anything. I was like a baby. But, but the professor raised me like I was his own child. He taught me so many things until finally he enrolled me in high school. How about this? What'd you do? And now I study here before you all. I stand here before you all. See, I'm just like everyone else. And you're hey. going to die like everybody else. <laughs> Hey, do robots have dicks? Hey. Please do not ask ridiculous questions. Yo, shout out to this guy, asking the real <laughs> questions. I only ask because your backstory is pretty flaccid for a robot. Yo, I get it. I mean, just being a robot is probably enough to claim the title of Ultimate Robot. You're not wrong. Oh, hey, Ko Kokichi. I don't really understand your Ultimate Supreme Leader talent. Oh, I'm just the supreme leader of an evil secret organization, that's all. Yo. Alright. Huh? What? Um. I gotta say, it's uh, it's pretty impressive. My organization has over 10,000 members. Huh? Are you, are you a cult leader? Like like that? The supreme leader of an evil secret organization? Because I'm a liar. Who knows, I am a liar after all. Cool. Huh? So you're you're lying just now? It's true. Well, I am the supreme leader of an evil secret organization. That part was true. Jeez. So were you lying or not? <laughs> I'm not telling you. Ultimate supreme leader, huh? This is the first time I've met anyone with a talent like yours. I mean, we had the ultimate yakuza. That's right. You saw the and the ultimate princess. It's not too far fetched. You saw the documents about all the incoming freshmen, right, Makoto? Do you know if Kokichi is telling the truth or not? Well, the information on the document may not be complete. You <laughs> suck, dude. You have no idea how many crazy things I've done, do you? It's true. If you, if you knew, my subordinates would have eliminated you a long time ago, Makoto. Jeez. Hey, everything he said so far sounded like a lie, so that's gotta be a lie too, right? Dear. Just leave him alone. Everything he has been saying has been a lie. He's a far more suspicious person than I am, that's for sure. Well, of course you're not a suspicious person, because robots aren't people, silly. Damn! Kokichi, with the burn. You mad? Oh, you mad? Are you gonna hit me with a rocket punch? Yo, is, is that a Metal Gear Solid reference? Kokichi? I like it. You can't! I don't have that function. Oh, man, you're boring. What a weird guy. He's like a mischievous little child kid. I was gonna say child for some reason. This is no time to be joking around unless he really is an evil supreme leader. Oh, fuck it. Let's get the shit out of here. What? Oh. Kabrah! Hurdle. I'll jump it. Let's do it. Maybe we'll use these hurdles for PE class or something. It makes sense that a school would have these. Have this. But then why does it feel so out of place here? Bam, bam, bam. Fuck this food. Fuck it. Get, get, this, get this shit out of here. Dude, RC helicopters? You mean drones? An RC helicopter? What's this doing in a school warehouse? Uh huh. Shit, get all the shit out of here. Fucking this. that. Dumb. Interesting. I guess I didn't fucking talk to Makoto in there. Let's go talk to him. Because I was curious. It's like, oh, he gave me an option to leave. He usually doesn't. Is he still in here? Yes. Yo, talk to him, bro. That, what a huge warehouse. You can find anything you want in here. You can. Like these high jump bars. Or this map. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, these are heat helicopters that I already talked about. Oh. Oh, that's cool. So the stuff that you can look at, that's cool. I like how that changes. And then that gets a, a chain thing around it. That's cool. So this is like so you can know what to click on. Alright. Okay, let's read this real quick. Just to get it out of the way. It's a monitor for community. Okay. Well, never mind then. I guess it, it always asks. You can't hit stuff in here. Dining hall? Who did in dining hall? Oh, there's a lot of people in dining hall. Alright, what you got? Are you the ultimate? Be amazed. Fall to your knees. I am Himiko Yumeno, the ultimate maid. You sound so happy to be alive. But I'm officially called the ah. ultimate magician. <laughs> Yay! I see. I did it. Oh, so you're a magician. You should have said that from the start. Mm. I mean, it makes sense though, since magic doesn't exist. Get off! Off! Uh. Magic does exist. Huh? Huh? Because I'm a mage. Uh. You're just a magician, right? No. Only on paper. Okay. I'm I'm known as a magician, but that's just a ruse. I'm actually a mage. Huh? Just a ruse? Uh -huh. A group trying to hide magic's existence from the world labeled by magic as tricks. Because of this ruse, I became famous all over the world for performing tricks. Uh -huh. But I'm not a magician. I'm a mage. Nobody believes me. Um. There, there. Don't be sad. Oh, so you could. Show us your magic, and we would believe you. That's right. Oh, that's right. Help us out with your magic. Take us back to when we were originally. No. Magic isn't all powerful. I can only do so much. Um, I see. Then, what can you do? You're right. I can choose the card you pick, pull out coins, and release doves. <laughs> if I get serious, I can even saw someone in half. Those are just ordinary magic tricks. What's that thing behind you? Oh, you're the Akio Master. I keep doing this every time I say her title. I like take a, a small little cha stance like she's doing. I must be prepared for combat at all times. Just in case someone tries to attack me. That is a good skill to have in our current situation. I will protect myself with Neo Akido. Huh? Akido, then you're... Oh, yes. I'm Tango Chabashira. Tango. Yeah. Ultimate Aikido Master. Aikido. Cool. I kick you and punch you in the fist. I don't know what how fighting style works in Aikido. I always imagine Aikido Masters to be huge, burly guys, but they're so cute. Cute? Oh, stop! I'm not. I'm not cute. My face crinkles when I suck down a shake. And when I wipe my face, my eyelids turn inside out. Cool. Mm. But I think you're cute, right, Makoto? What? Makoto had. <laughs> Don't answer that. Huh? That face is great. Your face just went blank all of a sudden. Hmm. Is that what that face is? I don't like to be praised by degenerate males. Get fuck. Hmm. Degenerate males? You mean men? Are you uncomfortable around them? Yes! It's a way bigger problem than just being uncomfortable. They are the problems to everything. If a degenerate tries to touch me, my reflex is to grab them and throw them across the room. Yeah. You're right. This is a way bigger problem than just being uncomfortable around them. By the way, what is this Neo Akito you mentioned? That's right! Neo Akito is the original form of Akito that my master and I completed, completely made up ourselves. That's wrong! So your Akito is, 
is all self-taught? Don't talk to me. I'm Kaito Momota, luminary of the stars. Even crying children adore the ultimate astronaut. Cool. How about it? I'm an astronaut. Isn't that cool? Yeah, I've never been to space, so I don't know much about it. Well, of course, not just anyone gets to can get up there. I may be an astronaut, but I'm actually still in training. Then how are you the ultimate astronaut when there's actual astronauts? I see. Oh, I see. So you're still a trainee? But you know. But I'm the first teenager to ever pass the exam. I mean, normally you need a college degree to even take the exam. Huh? Then how did you take the exam? So... I had a friend who was crafty, so I had him forge some stuff for me. Oh, That's illegal. Yeah. Yeah, I ended up getting caught. I was in pretty deep shit, but the people up top let me in since I did so well on the exam. Jeez. That's got reckless. It. Sometimes you gotta be a little reckless to make your dreams a reality. So you're not actually the ultimate astronaut. You're just the ultimate astronaut on paper. No way can I. No way I can wait till after college. I wanna get to space as fast as I can. Sure is energetic. <laughs> These are all new students, just like you, Kaede. Why don't you say hi? I did. Let's get the hell out of here. Hmm. That's me. Talk to you. Talk to you. I haven't found you yet. Talk to you. 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 Alright, the only one I haven't met yet is the ultimate caregiver? Not even gonna let me interact with it, huh? Okay. Interesting. There she is. I love you already. Maki Harukawa, ultimate child caregiver. I like it. I see. Ultimate child caregiver, huh? Yo, it'd be cool if you could like cause I, all the all the deaths are gonna be scripted, so it's kind of sad. But it'd be cool if you could set it up like you could keep certain people alive. I was like, I really want this person to live, and you could just do what you can to keep them alive. <sighs> Surprise! I don't look like someone who'd like kids, do I? Huh? huh? That's right. Well, you'd be right. I don't like kids that much. Aww. But if you're the ultimate child caregiver, then children must like you a lot, right? I don't care. Kids are weird. They come to me on their own. I'm not that good at taking care of them. I'm not that friendly either. Mm -hmm. But they say kids are very intuitive. If they like you that much, hey. then they can probably tell how loving you really are, Maki. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that must be it. You've chosen a perfect career for yourself. That's wrong. It wasn't my choice to begin with. Huh? You mean by that? So what? Nothing. Aww. It's just I grew up in an orphanage and got saddled with helping a lot. Orphanage, huh? I see. Kaede, as far as I know, that's all the students in this school. Alright. I see. Maybe we should go to the gym. Yeah, although I get why you might be a little hesitant. I'm fine, let's go. We won't find out what's going on if we just wander around aimlessly. To the gym! Time for our first matter. I did what the letter said and went to the gym. I wonder what's in here. Hey Makoto, are you ready to go in? Ooh. Interesting. Sorry, but this is where we part ways. Cool. Huh? Because you're the protagonist now, Kaede. Huh? What? That's... From here on, you're the one who's going to learn about this situation we're in. What? You might feel despair. I understand. I understand. But I don't want you to throw away hope. Yeah. Even if there's just despair on the horizon. Remember that Hajime and I are here to help. No, you aren't. Huh? No, uh what wait, Makoto? He left all of a sudden. What's gotten into him? Protagonist? Hope? Despair? What does any of that mean? Everything. Jeez, I'm having second thoughts about going in the gym. There's no point just standing around. I have to face whatever's inside. 
Let's do it. Uh oh. You finally arrived. Yo, what's up? What's up, Monokuma? Yo, this remix, though. Mr. Yeah, it's Mr. Monokuma's lesson. V3. Can't wait. What? We'll be living on Earth for our lives here? Wait a minute. You just came out of nowhere and uh, I don't get any of this. I'm not done talking yet, so please shut up. Thanks. <laughs> anyway, if you want to leave the academy, there's a special graduation requirement. What could that be? I'll explain what this requirement entails. While you live together, you're all responsible for maintaining the harmony of the academy. But if someone was to disrupt that harmony, then they'd get to me. You would be so far. What do you mean by disrupt the harmony? Fucking kill somebody. <laughs> it's simple, really. A student must kill another student. Yay! C kill? Yeah. Whether it's stabbing, bludgeoning, slicing, burning, crushing, strangling, poisoning. The method doesn't matter. The student that kills one of their classmates gets to leave. Work hard to make your undesirable means justify the most desirable end. Don't mess around with us. I would never murder anyone. Yeah, you wouldn't. But plenty of other people would. And that's the problem. Your story begins. So I'm guessing we get to keep our level. Because I know whatever you do in this demo, you get to bring over to the actual Jeez. game. My story? What does that even mean? Oh? You don't know? Didn't Makoto say something eerily similar before coming here? Um, you know Makoto? Oh. Yeah. Don't worry about the veteran. This is your story after all. Yahoo! More importantly, I prepared rooms for you, your, you do students in the dormitory. If you check out your room, I'm sure things have gotten very interesting by now. Dorms, quickly! You'll know what I'm talking about when you get there! Alright. Laugh. My room. Alright. Though I had no idea what was going on, I turned away from Monokuma regardless. I've heard so many strange terms today. New students, protagonists, killing game. So exhausted, I barely have the energy to feel confused by all this. I don't care what the bear says. I will not be part of some killing get- Makoto's still not back. I'm a little worried, but for now, I should go to the dorms. Oh, alright. Just gonna take me there? Alright. Yo, I wonder which room is mine. It looks like each door has a portrait on it. Which one do you fucking think? Oh, is it this one? Huh? Well, it's not just mine. Makoto and Hajime's portraits are on here, too. Don't worry, I'm happy to explain. Hey, this room has been been prepared for the three of you to share it. It's purely a penny pinching measure. It might seem cramped, but I'm sure you'll make it work. I'm a girl, I can't agree to this at all. Shenanigans in co ed dorm rooms are the most juvenile of juvenile fantasies, you know. Any incident behavior, indecent behavior in the wholesome halls of the academy will be severely punished. But in the dorms, you can do whatever you want, and I will look the other way. The three will stay in the protagonist room because I want you all to get along. Hey. What do you mean, protagonist? Huh? I only answer those types of questions once. Don't just stand there, go inside already. Jeez. You're the one who stopped me. I haven't decided whether I'm sleeping here, but I'm definitely not okay with this. Anyways, I should go inside. Are they both dead? 
what happened? This room's a mess. What? Why the hell happened? What the hell happened in this room? It's an old bed, but it's pretty damaged. What does this mean? What happened in here? Bathroom door? I peeked in the shower room, and there I saw... What are you doing? What is happening? Okay. This can't be happening, can it? It can't be. He's dead? Interesting. A body has been discovered! But that's the only one. Amount of time passes, a class trial will be held! Don't three people have to find the body? Isn't that how it works? Last trial. You just like to come out behind the fucking. You come out behind the school building up there. It's the class trial to determine who killed Yasuhiro Hakagura, the ultimate clairvoyant. The Jeez, this is like the second time he's died already. Uh, you guys just ignore that. You guys can just ignore that. Dang. I haven't watched the third anime yet. Although you must kill someone to be eligible to, be, to graduate, killing alone is not enough. You must kill someone without the other suit and finding out you did it. In order to make sure the culprit has met their, that requirement. Once a murder occurs, a class trial will, begin, will be held after a certain amount of time. During the class trial, you'll present your argument for who you think the killer is. If you're correct, only the blackened killer will receive punishment. And the rest of you will keep on living here together. But if you pick the wrong person, Psycho! the blackened killer will get off scot-free and everyone else will receive punishment. Anyway, those are the rules of the class trial. Um, Wh what the? Well now, I gotta hand these out before you start investigating. Thank you. So the file contains all the information I've gathered about the victim. I call it... Oh, I didn't say it. The Monokuma file. After all, it's not like you guys are pros at examining dead bodies or anything. So I made sure to gather helpful info, such as the time and cause of death. Now then. Go forth and investigate. I'll see you all at the class trial. Stop it. No way. Wait a minute. No way. That's right. That's right. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> it's fine. I promise. This will all pay off. You just gotta focus like you're pulling an all-nighter uh, I've never pulled an all-nighter and you can't just bring an investigation on us like this he can <laughs> and he does quite often talk to me is just talking to me is just a waste of time save it for the class trial <laughs> see you later uh. oh wait me and Monokuma just ignored me and disappeared I had to investigate and find out who killed Yasuhiro Someone in this academy actually killed someone? Maybe? Oh, hey guys, well, welcome to my room. He's really dead? Sheesh. Huh. Even though the killing game just started, it seems like someone was important. Impatient. What? What? Are you saying the killing game started? It yeah. Seems as if. Killing game. Followed by a class trial. Which means Monokuma was serious yeah. after all. That's right, we're going to investigate this murder and find the culprit of the class trial. You don't get it, do you? I don't agree with that. Hey, okay, you got the Monokuma file, right? Yeah, Monokuma shoved it into my hands before I could say anything. But... I know it's annoying having him decide things on his own, but... We should look at the Monokuma file first. It might have important clues. I understand. Hmm. Yeah, um... Why is it blood type? Interesting. The victim was Yasuhiro Hakaguru. The time of death was 1.30 p.m. The body was discovered in the protagonist's room in the dormitory. The victim died in the bathroom. The killing blow was a stab to the abdomen delivered by a knife. Aside from the killing blow, oh, no other injuries. I saw that a little bit. Monokuma file has been added to the truth bullet section of the monopad. 
9.30 p.m. What the hell was that? Oh, I leveled up. That was just a few minutes ago. His death is still fresh. Hero has a student Hero was a student at this academy. He was your upperclassman. His demo's fucking weird. Yeah. Oh, I see. Hey. Why did Hero die? In order to solve that, we need to investigate. If we look around for clues, we'll bound we're bound to find something. There should be some of this some in this room. Then we need to talk to any witnesses. We should also find where the weapon came from. Understood. Yes, but please do not spread yourself too thin. Let us proceed one step at a time. Yeah. Oh, uh, okay. We just have to do it, right? Oh, that looks cool. All right. Well, what's in this door? Oh, that's the exit. That's right. You always. I keep thinking the exit's behind me because of how you enter. Why oh, is the TV broken? Investigate. The wall of this rooms are covered in slashes. It seems there was a struggle in this room between two people. But why this room? Locked and loaded. Uh, Maybe I should check in here just in case. Makoto and Hajime stuff might be in here, but this is an emergency. Sorry about this, guys. I slowly open the door. What, what is this? Uniforms from all three of us were packed inside. For all three of us, what does this mean? I don't feel too good about this. No, I don't have time for that. I need to look for more clues that can lead me to the culprit. So I checked inside. There's nothing suspicious here. Well, the uniforms themselves are suspicious, but... Oh, is that nothing? Okay. I'll check the bathroom real quick. What you got, Yoshi? The victim was... Yasuhiro Hakagure, the ultimate clairvoyant. Who would do this, and why? The knife lodged in his abdomen. Is it a kitchen knife? I know there's a kitchen in the dining hall. Maybe the knife came from there? There's blood everywhere, on the floor and on the handle of the kitchen knife, too. But I can't figure out why. But something seems strange about the blood on the handle. Am I imagining things? Suspicious knife handle. Alright. That is a little weird, yo. We leveling up hardcore. That's weird. Alright. Always messing around. So does this mean someone believed that the only way to get out of here? Was by killing someone? <laughs> the dead body is proof of that. There's no way a body would end up quite like this by accident. You Damn aren't it. wrong. Why'd they kill him? I understand. I keep hitting the right stick by accident, and then that pops up. Why didn't they just talk things over with us? Yeah. Yeah, we haven't searched the whole school yet. There could still be a way out of here. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly right. And they resorted to this right off the bat. When we find the culprit, I'm gonna punch some sense back into them. You won't get the chance. That's weird. What's the matter? Why are you laughing, Mew? Fuck all y'all. Alright. It's just you guys are dumber than fleas and twice as insignificant. How could I not laugh? What do you mean? Listen up! If you ask me, solving this case is easier than Making of. All right. You. You have a vocabulary. <laughs> you want to know, don't you? Well, since I'm feeling generous, I'll tell you. First, ain't it weird that no one even met the spiky-headed Tilto before he was murked? What is your problem? Oh God, that's a true thing to call someone, but she's right. Yeah. This is my first time meeting, seeing Yashihiro. Yeah. This is my first time seeing him too. Whoops. Got it. Me too. I'd never heard Out of him. Out of my way. Seems the spiky the dildo was hiding the whole time. Um. Hiding? But why? <laughs> you don't know? Looks like your tits aren't all that pathetic about you. Fuck. Then. Well, he may have been lying and wait for a chance to kill somebody. Huh? What? No way. Out of my way. Anyway. 
That's not the only thing my golden brain managed to deduce. Listen up! There's another person hiding somewhere, and I bet that's our culprit. What? Huh? There's another person you hiding? Be right. Where's your proof? What was that? I got my genius intuition on my side. I don't need any fucking proof. Alright. Hmm. I keep huh? hitting it by accident. Huh? So basically you're just imagining things. It's true, though. I don't want to think that one of us might be the culprit. Hmm. Besides, Hero wasn't trying to hide. Hmm. Fuck. Why you? Huh? What'd you say, you fucking pleb? You saying I'm wrong? That's not it. No, it's true. After I woke up in this academy, I saw Hero walking down the hall over I there. See. Oh. Then that just means we never actually saw him. Wait! Hold on a second. This isn't over yet. Yeah, that's it. I got an even easier explanation for what went down. Enjoy. The culprit is whoever has the key to this room. Booyah. Mic drop. Fuckers. You know? Well, no one gave me the key. What? Oh, really? Come on, man. Quit your bullshit and you just making everyone confused. Not cool. Instead of saying a bunch of vulgar things, why not use your brain a little? What did I do? But I am. For all her big talk and swagger, Miyu is actually pretty meek when confronted. Her theories are completely off base, but she's still trying her best to figure this out. All right. It's all right, Miyu. We still have time. We just have to look for more clues. That's all. What was that? You and me? Huh. Good one. That's almost as funny as your tiny blueberry pancake nipples. Fuck. <laughs> so mean. May I? Kaede Hajime. This room belongs to you as well as Makoto, correct? Um. Yeah, that's correct. Of course, I never agreed to it at all. What do you think? I have one question. Have any of you set foot in this room since your arrival at the academy? No. I haven't. The first time I came to this room was when I discovered Hiro's body. I'm... After the body discovery announcement, it was the first time I went in here, too. What about it? In actuality, I have cleaned every room in this dormitory since I arrived at this academy. Alright. Merrily. Merely a light cleaning, mind you, but at any rate, this dormitory should have been spotless. Naturally, that includes this room as well. Huh? Well, when? How? I mean, I know you're the ultimate maid and all, but I wow. Do not agree. I provided this service to help everyone here relax. Please do not worry about it. Anyway, please take a look at this. I found it on the floor when I first arrived here. Is this hair? It's brown like Hero's hair. You know? But isn't Hero's hair long? I think this hair is a bit too short to be his. <clears throat> Do you think it's a piece of hair? His hair was cut off during the struggle in the room? <laughs> the carpet matches the trapes. I bet the rogue pube from one of his tug sessions. This chick right here. But can you blame him? He was stuck in his in this school with a busty beauty like me after all. No comment. Wow. Alright, short brown hair, huh? Things like this might seem trivial, but sometimes they're important. What? Are you ignoring me? I know you guys heard me. That is correct. The only people with hair of similar color and length are Hajime and Makoto. Huh? What? Then. This is the first time you entered this room, correct, Hajime? What about Makoto? Uh, I haven't asked him yet. May I? Of course, a single strand of hair is not much of a lead. But, at the very least, we should listen to Makoto's account. You're right. You know, I haven't seen Makoto since we got since we went our separate ways before I went to the gym. I wonder where he went. Short brown hair. Missing Makoto. What's up, little guy? You're going straight to an investigation? That's pretty forward thinking of you. Even if you, you you're used to seeing dead bodies, it'd be stupid to not feel anything. To be honest, I feel confused, scared, and disgusted by all this. But we have to do this. I don't want everyone else to die. You're rather motivated to stay alive. I wish I had. No. Never mind. But Anyway, even though we were just told to do the killing game, someone already took action. Normally, you'd be hesitant. That is, unless you have a strong motive. That's right, it's not that easy to kill, even if someone is forcing you to do it. There's no way someone could suddenly adapt to a situation like this, right? Not if they haven't already done it before. Or been a part of it, I mean. Oh, they don't want to do that. Nope. Shit, I meant to click on the... Hajime. 
like these fuckers. Hero, I can't believe someone has killed was killed here. I can't believe it either. I don't want to do this killing game. I wonder if we're already if we've already met the person that killed Yasuhiro. God. Even so, the reason this happened is because Monokuma trapped us here. Yeah? Yeah. That's true. Hey. Hey, Day, you can talk to me casually, just like how you talk to Makoto, you know? You might feel confused that they're being wrapped up in this case so suddenly, but you can talk to me and Makoto about anything. I mean, we're your upperclassmen after all. This is weird. Like, I don't like these, like, no, we're cool. Because y'all aren't going to be in the next game. I can, I can tell. Like you're just here because this is some weird ass simulation shit. Is he trying to calm me down? Seeing Hajime keep his cool is helping me calm down a bit. Aww. We're already already confused about being trapped here and discovering a dead body. But now we have to investigate too? It's just too crazy. No. But we need to do it in order to survive. It'll be fine as long as we work together. Hey, hey Hajime? If you want, would you like to investigate together? I think it helped me a lot, especially since you're calm and reliable. That's... I'd like that, but since you'll be investigating, I think it's best if I stay here. Huh? What? That makes no yeah. sense. It's hard to believe, but the culprit is one of us here in this academy. Which is why someone needs to guard the crime scene so the culprit can destroy evidence. I see. I see. That could happen, huh? But, um, since you mentioned the culprit destroying evidence... Yes. If I'm the only one here and I was the culprit, I could destroy the evidence. That's wrong! No, I trust you, Hajime. Yeah. Thanks, but you were right to hesitate. In order for you to keep trusting me, it's best if you stay suspicious. If I stay here alone, I'll have a hard time refuting if I'm accused of destroying evidence. <gasps> well, that's right. If you stay behind with another person, then... Do you agree? So you need a witness to vouch for the integrity of the crime scene, yes? Then I shall stay behind Got as it. well. Yeah, thanks. Kirumi and I will stay put till the class trial. I'll leave the investigation to you, Kaede. Yeah. Alrighty, I guess that makes sense. I'm down with that. Okay, I'll do my best. Hajime is really calm. No, more than calm. It's more like he has experience with this sort of thing. You think? No, that's crazy of me. No, it ain't. Alright, let's get the hell out. Oh, hey! The hero? Oh, Makoto. Kaede, are you alright? You were the one who found the body, right? Um... Yeah, I'm shocked, but I should be fine. We don't have time to stand around, though. I got it. I see. Then let's go together. Sign. What? Rise and shine? Or sign? More robot bears? Why are there so many this time? It's my time to shine. We're the Monokuma Cubs. Nice to meet ya. Not funny. You know, for a protagonist, your reaction to us was pretty boring. It's rude to scream at the sight of cute little bears like us. I'm pissed. I gotta cool off by beating the shit out of Monodom. 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 What? Monodom. Hey. What the? What's all this protagonist talk anyway? What the hell is this music? Monokuma hasn't told me anything. Jeez. Hey, don't ignore me. You bastards. Asking Monodam, Monodam is useless. Monotaro? That's right. Fanny. He's closed off his heart to others. Uh, then why don't you other bears answer me? Shut up! Hey, shut up, you stupid bears! Don't interrupt our investigation. It'd be useful to show us for no show up for no reason. It'd be wasteful to show up for no reason. But well, we didn't come to interfere either. That's right. Mono kid. Papakuma told us to give you punk ass as a hint. Huh? Papa, you mean Monokuma? What are you saying? Oh shit, Sherlock. No shit, Sherlock. Monosuke. I mean, look at us. We're clearly his flesh and blood cubs. Do robots even have flesh and blood? No. Are you sure it's okay to give them a hit so soon? It's like rewarding a baby with milk when it's been up all night crying. Hell yeah! <laughs> I prefer honey over milk anyway. All right. Anyway, 
that's enough messing around. You got to do the rest of on your own. Good luck. So long, farewell. So long, farewell. <laughs> Jeez. Wait, what's the hint? Jeez. They admitted they came here to mess with us. They never planned to give us a hint. Jeez. A bunch of cowards trying to interrupt my investigation with their stupid crap. Whatever. If I get serious, I can solve this case in no time flat. Okay. Oops, let's check this place. Yeah, I meant to talk to you. Hey. Hey, Makoto, after we split up, where did you go? Um, it's not like I suspect you, but I was worried because you never came back. Hey! You can ask me anything, I'm sure you must have questions. I just I just asked you a question. Let's see, after we split up. I went around the academy to investigate. Huh? Around the academy? Yeah. Uh, I'm familiar with this academy, but I've noticed that the entrance hall was blocked off. I decided to check everywhere I could to see if there was any way out or to find clues about Monokuma. I thought if I could find a map, that might help you out, seeing as you're new here. Were you thinking, oh, so you were thinking about me, huh? I'm glad I have an upperclassman like you to look at things from a different perspective. No. It was no big deal. I didn't end up finding anything. And now that the killing is being on, we have to focus our attention on that. First, we need to do something about this class trial, right? Hey. Yeah, and if you'd like, I can help out with the investigation. Huh? Oh, really? Yeah. Well, I can't stand by and do nothing. Hero was my classmate. Uh, I see. Hey. And besides, all of us are supposed to help with the investigation. That's what Monokuma said, right? If we don't discover the culprit, then everyone will be punished. Whoops. Mm. And by punished, he means executed. Huh? What? I just got whoops. I just got goosebumps. Waking up in this strange place, being told to do a killing game, and finding a dead body. It's been a long time since I felt panic like this. But that panic grabbed hold of my heart and snapped me back to reality. No, not panic. Fair. Hey. I'm sure you have a lot of questions, but we need to collect evidence for now. It's all right, as long as you don't give up, you can fight off any despair. And I'm here to help, so don't worry. <laughs> I'm the ultimate lucky student, although I might not be that reliable. No. No, you're really reliable. Thank you, Makoto. I said that to encourage me, so I'll do my best and walk harder. Work harder. I can't let everyone be executed. Yeah, that'd be bad. First, we should figure out where the murder weapon came from. That's right. Yeah, you're right. There's only one place the murder weapon could have come from. Missing Mikoto has been updated. Let's get the hell out of here. I'm guessing I should talk to other people. Hey. Yeah. Murder occurred. Yeah. What do you mean? The crime occurred in the protagonist's room. Stupid name aside, that's your room, isn't it? Uh, do you think I'm suspicious? Well, it's not true. I didn't do anything. No. In situations like this, the first person to discover the body is is the most suspicious. Maki, I understand why you suspect us. But if you have your mind made up from the start, you'll never reach the truth. <sighs> I know. If we don't find the culprit, we'll die. I don't intend to just go with the easiest answer. But at the same time, I have no reason to trust you guys either. She has a point. I hope there's evidence that proves I'm not the culprit. <laughs> Kaede, is it true? Did a murder really happen? Yeah. yeah, it's hard to believe, but it's true. Are you the culprit? That's wrong! No, I mean, the murder scene was in my room, but... Then... Then you're the culprit, for sure. Ah, oh, jeez! It wasn't me. That's wrong! Himiko... Himiko... Ugh, you shouldn't say that. We had to investigate first. Uh. I'm amazed. Murder investigations aren't my specialty. I'll what? give you that. We need to work together. We can do this if we try. Yeah, that's right! That's right, or else you'll die. What a pain. Yeah, what a pain? Does she not realize our lives are at stake? You psycho child. Alright, oh, this guy. What do you have to say, homie? Oh, man. Why'd you kill him, Kaede? Did you really want to escape that badly? Huh? What? Right? Well, Hiro was murdered in your room, right? I 
I don't agree with that. Wait, no, we want to. That's not true. Wait. Yeah. There you go. How boring. Oh man, if you were gonna kill him, you should have done it better. This is so easy. It's boring. That's wrong. No, I didn't do anything. Yeah, you do, fucking mm. loser. So you're saying the culprit has because... shit. Can I see like a playback, please? Nope. Where's the fucking? That's a pain in the ass to get to. Because if you wait, so you're saying the culprit has to be either Makoto or Hajime, correct? That's what I think. Because if you didn't do it, then that's what you're getting at, right? That's not true. That's not what I meant. Hang on. I would be able to st Saturday. Prove their innocence? Um oh, shit, I keep hitting circle for some stupid reason. Oh, cool. So you can hit the touchpad and do that. I haven't heard anything about who they were with who they were with before or after. Anything about who they were with before or after the incident? That's Kichi. I don't think this case is that simple. You say that. I think you'll realize that during the trial. Hmm. hmm do you know something, Makoto? <laughs> well, we can discuss this in greater detail at the class trial. The game wouldn't be fun unless we all experienced the climax together. Stop it. What? Kichi seems to be enjoying the situation. Not only that, he suspects us too. I have to explain to him at the class trial why we couldn't have done it. Let me go check out the kitchen. Oh, there's the ultimate of whatever. Who's it? Cosplayer. There's one thing I can plainly tell you. Okay. There's one thing I can plainly tell you. After I woke up, I woke up in this academy. I went to my room in the dormitory. Of course, I don't want to spend the night in a place like this. But I thought if I had somewhere to spend the night, at least it'd help me calm down. Yeah. That's right. Kurumi said she cleaned the rooms. Oh uh -huh. well, yeah, I wanted to talk about. Kurumi. I saw Kurumi going in and out of everyone's dorm room with cleaning supplies. And that means Kurumi really did clean all our rooms. Do you remember how long Kurumi took to clean each room? Yeah. Yeah, I watched her for a while because I admired her bearing as a professional maid. Kurumi was efficient, so she didn't spend long in each room. And did you hear any loud sounds? Maybe someone's voice? No. Um, I don't remember hearing anything out of the ordinary. One last question. Did you see Hiro? Uh no, I didn't. I think I definitely remember seeing hair like his. I see. Thank you. That was helpful. Hmm, so that means it's highly unlikely Kurumi killed Hiro while she was cleaning. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. What, what I'm thinking. Yeah. <laughs> 
Oh, All right. No way. One of us really killed Hero? Gonto, not want to believe one of us really bad person. Because no bad person like bugs. Yeah. I don't want to believe that one One of us killed him either. Then we should consider other possibilities. Whoops. Shit. We have to investigate. If we do that, we might be able to prove that none of us is the culprit. I see. Yeah, you're, you're right. Oh, right. I don't think that's a possibility, homie, but I like your enthusiasm. There was to be another. There, ha there has to be another. Other possibilities. Jesus Christ. So we should work together, Gonto guys. Do his best. Yeah, you're right. Going to not smart, but going to work his hardest. Yo, going to the real champ. Oh, that's right. Damn it. All right, I'm sorry. going probably not good huh because yes. hero got killed in your room right Kaede right that means the culprit is a you Makoto or Hajime how exciting huh? huh hold on Angie it's dangerous to go into this with our minds made up Cause Atua says so. but that's what Atua is telling me so divine and Atua's never wrong you know stop it what <laughs> that's right praise be to Atua we are close to solving this case. I'm not gonna let her accuse me with weak reasoning like that. Alright. Oh, hey guys, what's up? I'm gonna go check over here first real quick. Oh, there it is. That helps. There are kitchen knives of various sizes, but it looks like one of them is missing. Was it always missing, or I need to talk to someone who knows more about this kitchen? I didn't check this room when I came in here. Well, I, I didn't like this over here. What the hell is this? Rules? Dining hall rules. Uh, I don't think the rules have anything to do with this incident. Oh, I'd like to know what the rules are. Interesting. Someone has to know about the kitchen knife. I'll ask around. All right. You know? Um, Tinko, it looks like the kitchen is short one kitchen knife. Hold on, I didn't take a knife. Ooh. Um, well, it's not that. I just wanted to ask if you knew anything about it. That's all. I'm sorry. Uh, oh. I'm sorry for jumping to conclusions. Um, so I did notice earlier that a knife had suddenly disappeared from the kitchen. Huh? What? Can you give me more details? Yes. Before the buy discovery announcement, I went to the kitchen to get some tea. At the time, all the knives were still there. Listen up. But then, when I went to put away the teacups, one of the knives was missing. At the time, I thought it was a strange—it was strange—a knife went missing when no one was cooking. Good job. I see. This might be an important clue. Thanks, Jinko. I'm honored I could help you. I would never allow a fellow female to be executed. Hey! Where were you drinking where were you drinking tea by yourself in the dining hall? No. No, I was with Himiko. She was teaching me the difference between magic and magic tricks. We were here together when the body discovery announcement was made. And during the time did anyone else come? By the way. I think so. It was just one person. A degenerate male, actually. Cool. I don't know who, because I wasn't interested in seeing the exact degenerate that walked in. So the kitchen I was taken while Tinko was in the dining hall. Then whoever came in the dining hall during that time is suspicious. Whoops. Hey. Kaede, what the hell did I just hit? Weird. Oh, don't do that. Kaede, it seems we've got all the clues here. Should we go somewhere else? Right. Yeah, let's go. Oh, uh, okay. Is that it? Oh, all right. 
Uh, I'm starting to get tired. Can we move this along already? At last. The eagerly anticipated class trial. Yeah, that's right. Everyone, please assemble at the red door at the end of the hallway. Alright. See you there. Huh? What, already? I still don't know anything yet. Okay, they, they're going to suspect us as the, at this class trial. Yeah, they are. That's wrong. But I didn't do any. Ugh, right. I didn't do it. I know. I didn't do it either. We don't know that yet. Hey. You can give up. You can't give up now, no matter who doubts you, or you'll never find the truth. I believe in you. Don't forget that. Yeah. Yeah, all right. If Makoto believes in me, then I believe in him too. Anyway, we just need to deal with this class trial. Um, I need to head to the red door, right? Let's go. Hello, hello. I've finally arrived. Yeah, that's right. Great. Hi, hello! Alright, everyone. Find your assigned podium and stand behind hey. it. Hey! Monokuma, I don't know what you're scheming, but I won't let you do whatever you want. You're an upperclassman protagonist. I think you can come up with a better line than that. That's wrong. Hajime's right. You can't just do whatever you want with their lives. Hey. Jeez, that's basically what Hajime just said. You two need punch-up writers or something. Whether this demo is exciting or not depends entirely on you. Yo. Meta. Huh? Demo. Anyway, the class trial is finally starting. Make sure you guys psych yourselves up. Please wait. Hold on. You're really bugging What the? Me. The trial's just about to start. I can't stand inconsiderate robots. <laughs> But there's a really big problem. Look, there's not there aren't enough podiums. Huh? You're right. There's 18 of us and only 16 podiums. Those two don't get podiums. Hey. Hey, Cubs. Care to explain what's going on? You didn't mess up now, did you? It's Matadon's no. fault. No. Wait, Papakuma, it's Matadon's fault that there aren't enough podiums. <laughs> Father. Um. Yeah. Anyway, we didn't make a mistake. Got it. I know. Let's just pick two people at random and rip them apart with, with the. Exosauce. That'll teach the rest of these twerps not to make the class trial boring. How gory. Th that's too gory. Let's just pick who'll set out with rock, paper, scissors instead. No. no, all our lives will be on the line in the class trial. I won't let people lose the right to voice their opinion through rock, paper, scissors. My mood but there aren't enough podiums, so I guess two people gotta sit out and just watch. You gotta be kidding me! That makes no sense. Don't say such selfish things. Hey. Wait, shut up. I don't need a podium, because I don't because if I don't participate in the class trial, and these fuckers can't figure out the culprit, I won't get punished, right? Huh? huh? No. In that scenario, the people watching from the sidelines would still get punished. Um. Th then a genius like me should participate for the sake of the one sitting out, you know? Hey, hey. Two people, huh? We'll make Key Boy sit out, but what about the other person? Any volunteers? Hey. Don't decide that on your own. But I don't mind sitting out. Huh? Hello, huh, Makoto. Hey. I trust Kaede. We investigated this case together. You got me. Yeah, well, you guys shouldn't decide that without discussing it with us first. Huh? Huh? <laughs> I don't agree with all the flip-flopping going on, but I do agree we should discuss it. I guess. Yeah, if the blackened isn't in the trial, then we won't be able to catch any of their slip-ups. Thrills, chills, Worst kills. of all, if the blackened is out, the trial won't be nearly as exciting. But Kibo, not the blackened this time, so I'll just remove him from the roster. Why? You can't decide that on your own either. What are you talking about? Can you prove that you're not the blacken? Hey. I can vouch for Kibo. He's not the blacken I was with him the whole time. That's... If Kibo and Rontaru can both prove each other's alibis, and they're both not the blacken. So is it okay for those two to sit out? Because I'm honestly getting sick of waiting. Jeez. That's just a selfish reason to make them sit out. Oh, nothing. I don't mind stepping out. 
but I've got some conditions. Huh? Conditions? Hey. First, we need to let our observers participate in choosing the blacken. First, you need to let us observers participate in choosing the blacken. And if we can't agree with the conclusion that everyone's reached, we are each allowed to ask everyone one question. Depending on the situation, we should be allowed to restart the dis discussion entirely. Understand. So, what do you think? It would be unfair if, to us if you said no, agreed. Hmm. Okay, I agree with those turns. Let's just hurry up and start already. Wow. You agreed to that quite easily. Oh, yeah. Even with these speed bumps in the road, the destination won't change. <laughs> the outcome of this trial is absolute. Huh? Huh? What do you mean by that? Yeah. Oh, you'll understand soon enough. <laughs> Anyways, we spent way too much time dawdling. Move your asses already. <laughs> Father's angry. <laughs> oh no, get your podiums quickly, you bastards. That is not funny. So I'm sitting this one out after Leave all. It to me. I'll be carrying your lives too. I'll definitely do something about all this. Cool. And don't worry, we got the ultimate detective on our huh? side. You called him out real quick. You... <laughs> well then, we've got nothing to worry about. Damn. I'm sorry, dude. If something happens, I'll be sure to help. Do your best, don't be nervous. Uh, okay. okay. Even with everything that's happened, Rontaro is so zen right now. He calmly negotiated turns with Monokuma. I wonder what his talent could be. I'm pretty sure he read my mind earlier. Monokuma rushing us, we hurried to our assigned podiums. And the curtain lifted. A life or death trial, a life or death deception, a life or death betrayal. Life or death mysteries, life or death lies, life or death truths, a life or death class trial. Let me fucking start. Let's get this shit on the road. Oh, that's right, you get skills. I'll just take all the skills. Increases maximum influence a little. Effective during all parts of the class trial. Can't be combined with envious influence. Extraordinary focus. Increase maximum focus a little. If effective during all parts of the class trial. Making the silencer fire rapidly. Makes the silencer fire rapidly. Effective during non-stop and mass panic debates. Can't be combined with shotgun or grenade. All right. Oh, they are. So they stay equipped. Yes. All right. Can't be difficult, dude. Oh, I can't. All right. Do handbook. Oh, just this. All right. Well, let's do this shit. Here we go. It's just gonna take an hour. I doubt it. I don't know what I'll do, cause I'm sure this won't. This will maybe take 30 minutes every every First, strain is like three to four five hours. Of the class trial. The outcome will be decided by your votes. All right. Vote correctly, and only the blackened will be punished. But if you vote incorrectly, I'll punish everyone besides the blackened, and that person will graduate instead. Hey. Do you guys really think that one of us killed Hero? Yes. Of course! Going to not the culprit! Good job. I'm not the culprit either! Only degenerate males would commit such an act of violence! Did she die, like, really soon? In the game, please. You've already ruled out half the suspects? Shit, this is gonna be fucking easy! We can't rule out suspects that way. We need to look at all the possibilities. We need to, you know... Not make the stupid decisions. Agreed. But what to discuss first? Don't look at me, ever. Suspicious places, things, people. Kino looks creepy. That's suspicious enough for me. You're fucking weird. Speaking of suspicious people, how about that one with the strange title? Oh, you're talking about the ultimate supreme leader, right? That's super suspicious. Did you just call yourself out, bro? Huh? Um, should you be saying that about yourself? I don't think it, it, it's simply based on the fact this is a demo. I mean, they could throw you for a loop and you could kill one of these guys really early on, off really early, but it, it's probably going to be Hajime or Makoto, if not both. Ooh, now, I can, ooh, now, I can look around. You'll all have a chance to assert your innocence. Interesting. But that doesn't feel too good. Okay, let's begin. 
Um, where should going to begin? Why do you... you just gotta tackle the suspicious stuff one thing at a time, right? Yeah. So Kokichi's talent and Kyo's face are both suspicious? I could strip them both butt naked with my magic, but my MP's low right now. A night in the dorms would restore your MP, but the trial would be over by then. First, we have to determine what is suspicious and what is the truth. In order to make that clear, how about we start by going over the case? I agree. We sort out the details. You took it out of here. Parts don't add up. Y'all don't need to be here. I guess you do for this one, but y'all won't be then in the main let's game. Do it. It's starting soon. The debate to decide the culprit. If I notice anything, I need to point it out. Not just for my life, but for everyone else's life too. And now the class trial has begun. Yep. As things progress during each class trial, non-stop debates will occur. During non-stop debates, characters will speak one after another. Oh, we got pictures. Without pause. It's up to you to unearth any lies or contradictions in their statements. You'll have to use the truth bullets you've gathered to refute what they say. Any relevant truth bullets you found will be loaded into the truth cylinder. Use L to aim and the triangle button to fire. Fucking weird. Aim for the gold words displayed in their statements. Those are the weak points. There's a chance that the lies or contradictions are hiding within those weak points. Remember, this is just a possibility, so it won't always work. Also, it can only be refuted by the correct truth bullet. Compare everyone's statement to the truth bullets you have. And shoot your truth bullet at the proper weak point. Also, the pink words are called white noise. Your truth bullet will disappear if they touch these lines, so think of them as obstacles. You can use the silencer with X to shoot down the white noise. Please time your truth bullets just right so that you won't get interrupted by the white noise. Note that if you run out of time, you will automatically fail, so please be careful. Sorry, this is getting long, I know. Basically, if you find a weak point, then try to shoot it with a truth bullet. Oh, I almost forgot. The new element. Fuck. During the trial, you can concentrate to make time slow down. This will also reveal a small red dot within weak spots called the V point. If you hit that with the correct truth bullet, you'll get an awesome V counter. Bullseye. V counter really improve your score and the number of mono coins you earn, so try that out. Practice your V counters in this trial version so you'll look pro when the game comes out. I really want to look pro. During the non-stop debates, you can bring up the controls with the options button. Give them a look. Alright, so we can slow down time. Oh, look at our pedestal moving. That's cool. That's it? Just those two? Alright. Was, was a classmate of mine. Sounds like the victim, Yasuhiro, and the suspect, Makoto, knew each other. They did. Everyone here is a potential suspect. The murder happened. In Kaede, right? More precisely, in Kaede, Makoto, and Hajime's. The three main characters. <laughs> Even more precisely, he was in the bathroom. So that hero guy. Yeah. Must have been taken by surprise while he was in the bathroom. He didn't even have a chance to resume. Shut the fuck up. No, that's wrong. Yeah. Hey, Kaito. About the room where the murder happened. I think they fought in there. Isn't that right, Kirumi? That is correct. I entered Kaede's room once before the incident and twice after. Prior to the incident, the room was slightly dusty, but after, it was in a terrible state. Terrible. Fucking awful Just garbage. As Kaede said, we can presume a struggle happened in that room. Okay, so that room wasn't such a mess to begin with then. Yeah. Kirumi, you went into that room too? Yes, to clean it. 
I do this for all the dorm rooms. But I did not see the culprit or hero. I plainly saw Kirumi going in and out of the dorms. Mm. She right. was only in each room a short time, and I didn't hear any sort of struggle. So I think it would have been difficult for her to have killed Hiro then. Yeah. Which two people fought in that room? We must first make that clear. Two people who fought in that room were... I gotta make that decision? Oh. Oh, yes, so here in the culprit. I mean, really? Is that a... Is that a question? Is that a real question? Of course. It was Hero and the culprit. Duh. The fuck? Huh? Really? Who else would it be, dumbass? You got shit for brands or something? For once, I agree with Mew. Who are you calling a dumbass? I'm Kaito Momota, luminary of the stars. Don't know what that means. Oh, whoops, I was shrek. Hey, you two idiots. Don't raise your voice like that. Hey, you two idiots over there. Stop chit chatting and keep this discussion. Here. Hey, don't lock me in with that idiot. You're talking to the gorgeous girl genius, Mew Iruma. Don't lock me in with oh. that idiot. You're talking to the gorgeous girl genius, Mew Iruma. Yep, you two should be lumped together. Your statements are on the same level. Damn. Judging from the state of the crime scene, after struggling with the culprit, Yasuhiro ran into the bathroom. But the culprit chased after him and killed him. That's the most likely chain of events. Yeah, that's probably what happened. Well, Kaede, continue where you left off. Wait, why me? Kokichi, don't single out Kaede. In a class trial, everyone needs to contribute. But you know, if we just have Kaede talk the whole time, this might end sooner. <laughs> You seem awfully wary of Kaede. Do you think she'll incriminate herself if we let her talk? It's not just Kaede I'm worried about. The discussion won't move forward if we all just point fingers. True. Like Shuichi said, we need to talk about all the possibilities. Yeah, what he said! No way Kaede is the culprit! Yo, thanks for that. Kaito! This trial won't go anywhere if you don't suspect anyone! You degenerates! You're holding up the debate! I believe Hajime is correct about the circumstances of Yasuhiro's murder. What we have to determine now is the murder weapon. The, the weapon that took Hiro's life. Maybe the knife that was stuck in his gut. Are you sure? Because Miss Andre over there looks like she could pummel a dude to death. Let me make this perfectly clear. The art of Neo Aikido is not used for murder. If I had to fight off a male, I'd just throw him across the room. That, um, still might kill someone. Gonta could maybe use fists as weapons, but then Gonta would be no gentleman. Don't tell someone how you could kill someone. Gonta, You're stop. Yourself a weapon? There was no indication the body was punched. I don't believe fists were the murder weapon. Then our murder weapon is the knife stabbed into his gut. Nice. I'm glad I didn't have to make that decision for everyone. You don't have to be a genius like me to know that knife was the weapon. Right? Oh, dumb. Knife. I wonder was the murder weapon launched in his abdomen? Really a knife? I need to find out more about the weapon used to kill Hero. What are you talking about? What is this? In scenes where you have to deduce an image, mind mine will begin. We know it's a knife. What? <laughs> what? In this mode, the objective is to dig up the answer. At the beginning, your answer will be completely covered by pieces. Use the left stick to oops, move the cursor and delete the pieces in the X with the X button. These will be erased when two or more of the same color are connected. The adjacent pieces will then change color in the following order. White, pink, yellow, white. Oh. If you do it right, you can remove all the pieces from an object. The pieces will change. 
When all the pieces are on top of an object are gone, you can select the object as the answer. If you select the wrong object, your influence gate will take damage. If there's just one piece left, you can press the X button repeatedly to break it. But that won't incur a time penalty, so don't just bu button mash. It might sound complicated, but trust me, you'll get it as you play. We await your response. Oh, this is this is kind of dumb. We know it's a knife. So, uh, okay. So, white, pink. Oh. Oops. Hang on. Nope. There it is. Was it a knife? Yes. Oh, okay. The culprit didn't stab Hero in the stomach with just any knife. But specifically, a kitchen knife, right? Okay. Really? Okay. Yeah, I caught a glimpse of it too. That was definitely a kitchen knife. I guess that that's okay. That makes sense. I thought they were just Maybe trying to decide if it was a knife. Maybe you just saw it wrong. How can I see a kitchen knife wrong? Everyone knows what those look like. A knife? I do remember seeing a knife in the kitchen. That could be it. It could be. I see, I see. An excellent deduction from the ultimate detective. Well done. But I did it. That was me. Uh, it's not because I'm a detective. I'm still in training. But I... Oh, man. I figured that shit you really out though. You don't need to be a detective to know that the knife came from the kitchen. Thank you. Either way, it's exactly what Shuichi said. One kitchen knife is gone from the kitchen. Mm-hmm. Then the one who took the knife from the kitchen is our culprit. Good. Good Jeez, job. Who cares about the murder weapon? I don't like you. What do you mean who cares? You can already guess who the culprit is. There's a super duper huge hint already. You. Are you talking about the murder scene? What? Atua says the occupant of the room where Yasuhiro was killed is the culprit. Well, you say the occupant, but Makoto, Hajime, and Kaede were all in that room. Right? Wait, you're suspecting us? Well, the murder did take place in our room. It's understandable that you suspect us. But I didn't do it. It might have been our room, but I never even went inside before the murder. I didn't either. You okay. say that. Did you? I, I did. definitely didn't do it. After uh -oh. Monokuma told us, I went into that room for the first time and saw Hiro dead. The murder scene was in yours and the other's room. Also, you were the first witness. This is true. If you don't have evidence to prove you're not the culprit, then you're still suspicious. No way! Uh, I already told you it's not play 80. Suspecting her right off the bat is so mean. Yo, thanks, Okochi. Oki, Okokichi. Hey, you're the one who brought it up. Did I ever say Kaiyadi's the culprit? Yo, super ultimate leader got my back. It makes sense to suspect the first witness as the culprit. Taking shortcuts like that won't get us the best result. Maybe. Coming from a suspect, still sounds suspicious. Your voice. I, I am happy. We can't afford to get caught up in assumptions. Always watching. I agree with Hajime. We still have many questions about this incident. Agreed. As long as there is room for debate, it is rash to decide upon the culprit. That's right! If we give up now, the class trial will end! Gonta are not good at tough subjects, but Gonta will work hard for everyone's sake! Thanks, Gonta. That's right! We need to work together so we can overcome this class trial! 
everything's gone smoothly so far, but... What the fuck are you talking about? Huh? Did you say something, Makoto? No, it's nothing. Either way, we've got mm -hmm. three main suspects now. The culprit is not necessarily among them, but they remain suspicious. Not any of them! I believe in these guys! Thanks! Well, right now, they're the most likely cold Kamina, I think? I'm pretty sure that's who your voice actor is. Oh, oh! Maybe one of them took the knife from the kitchen? If that's the case, that would be pretty suspicious. If we can determine who took the murder weapon from the kitchen, that would clear Kaede of suspicion. First, we should listen to Kaede and the others' testimonies. That would be best. I'm certain they've been longing for the chance to speak. That's right. Kaede, are you okay with that too? Defending myself? Yes. Yeah, we have to at least try. Whoa, um. whoa, wait a second. Uh -oh. I'm all for lively debate, but I won't allow KG Kaede to participate. Uh, what? What? Why? Because STFU, that's why. <laughs> cool. What, what does that mean? It means it'll stir the fun up. Get it? Oh. Right now, the fun's just simmering. Anyway, instead of KG Kayede, we're gonna have someone else deliver their testimony instead. Just make a shit ton of excuses for why you're not the culprit! Okay, but before all that, what am I supposed to do? What the fuck? What are they doing? Is it magic? Do you want me to unleash a deadly explosion spell? Yes. No, I don't think we need magic. We need to talk about the kitchen knife. Or did you see that knife? What happened in the kitchen and dining hall? Anything? Oh, maybe I can help. All right, I guess I'll just do it then. Kaede, I'll leave this to you. I want you to discern our voices. Now it's time for a new segment to begin. The Mass Panic Debate! Let's do it. I'm not the culprit. She's gonna be a keen after all, huh? Ooh, okay. Oh no, all three people are talking at once. Let's don't do that. That's not good. Everyone is clamoring to prove their innocence. There's a panic in the courtroom. But what about at the disco? Oh, that's right. It's time. You will now be thrown into a mass panic debate. That doesn't sound fun at all. Okay, that looks not great. During the mass panic debate, three debates will happen at the same time. Ah. But remain calm. It's just like a non-stop debate. You're just hearing triple the opinions. Simple, right? Sure. But don't get cocky. The mass the mass panic debate will also have loud voice dialogue. It's when one of your opponents shouts their opinion in a loud voice. Thanks. That blocks out everyone's argument. Even if you see a weak point, you can't refute it. Oh no, what do you do then? That's what you're thinking, right? Luckily, just like white noise, shut them up with the X button silencer. After that, all the arguments will be audible again. Sort through everyone's opinions, find the lie or contradiction, and refute it. All right. You can also use V counter. So if you're confident, give that a shot. Thank you for your time. Sincerely, System. Oh, great. Oh, stop! Oh! Oh! That's... This is two of us. Wait, to... Someone was the knows the difference. Turn up! Shut up! Oh god. Also, I was making tea. 
Oh, that's stressful. Okay. I never went to the kitchen. Shut up. Wait. I didn't mean to shoot. That is her. There you go. That's not true. I knew that was a thing, but I couldn't remember which one Tinko was, so I want to make sure it's the same person. Wait a minute. While Tenko and Kimiko were in the dining hall, there was one other person who went in there too. Tenko, were you drinking tea by yourself in the dining hall? No, I was with Himiko. She was teaching me the difference between magic and magic tricks. We were here together when the body discovery announcement was made. I see, and during that time, did anyone else come? I think so, it was just one person. A degenerate male, actually. I don't know who, because I wasn't interested in seeing the exact degenerate that walked in. So we know it's a guy. Isn't that right, Tenko? Yes, that's true. But I'm sorry, I don't remember who it was. You remember it was a guy. I was too focused on Himiko's lesson to notice the exact degenerate that showed up. Yeah, you even said you weren't interested because it was a man who walked in. Then what about you, Himiko? Did you see who came into the dining hall? How did she know it was a man if you don't know who it was? Like... Yeah. Maybe she heard it, I don't know. But I think about it. Someone was in the kitchen. Who was it? Someone who's no longer with us. What is this? <laughs> when you have to deduce how things are connected, Psyche Taxi will start up. I forgot all the fucking weird ass mini games this game has. All right. The objective is to of this mode is to gather the letter cubes to form the question. Cool. Use the X button to accelerate and the left stick to move left and right. By picking up letter cubes floating around, you can complete the question. Once you complete the question, you head toward the escort that has the correct answer. If it's the right answer, they'll get in your car. If it's the wrong answer, something bad happens. Also, there will be other cars on the road. If you hit those, you will take focus energy damage. If it's getting dangerous, use the R1 to concentrate, stay calm, and avoid them. Please drive safely, enjoy the ride. Cool. This is weird. Oh, I missed some. Okay. So this is the same as the skateboarding thing, basically. What's his fucking name? It's Yoshiro, right? Yeah. Okay. Nice. Uh, 
Like for Are the you simplest shit. The one who went into the kitchen? They will throw out like these races like what'd they kill him with? I think it's a knife. Fucking mini game. Yeah, it's a knife. Culprit did it. Culprit took the knife. Who's the culprit? Uh, this guy. Yeah, we knew that. Uh-huh. There's no mistaking that dumb hair of his. Thank you. Then the one who took the knife from the kitchen is. It's reasonable to assume that it was the victim himself, Yasuhiro Hagakure. Whether it was for self-defense or murder, however, remains a mystery. But that's strange, isn't it? Why would the victim take the murder weapon? Yeah, that weird. He know would stab himself in own stomach. <laughs> Me to game now. Well, please to us. Not am is. <laughs> You're clearly out of your element. I already have this whole thing figured out. You're gonna drop another great statement. That ass of hero dude totally stuck himself in the gut. Which makes this a suicide, baby! No, that's not possible. Get fucked. As we already discussed, there were signs of a struggle in that room. Boom. Oh, oh you noticed. I was just testing you idiots, in case you'd forgotten. This bitch. It seems that the culprit took the knife from Hero and used it to kill him. You mean... Culprit could be person who not bring knife? Yes. I guess Kaede is still suspicious. And so are Makoto and Hajime. Yeah, she fucking. Maybe we're thinking too hard. Isn't the first witness suspicious after all? First witness? You mean Kaede? Suspicion now falls upon you, Kaede. Do you have an explanation? Hold up! I didn't do it! Great defense. Ha! Look at her shake like a fucking rabbit! Just relax. This'll all be over once we reach the climax. Not the culprit, but how do I convince everyone? So, tell us, Kaede. You're the culprit, aren't you? Yep. No, that's wrong! Yeah, get him! Yeah, you've got that wrong. Yeah. Original protagonists. Oh. The two leads just said their catchphrases. Finally, this is getting exciting. I believe you, Kaede. You're absolutely not the culprit. These two. Don't give up now, Kaede. You can't let it in here. For all our sakes, and yours too. Makoto, Hajime. Why are y'all here? Kaede, don't give up hope. Keep going and you'll be able to reach the truth. You're right. And that's what I wish for too. But how do I prove my innocence? That's... Fine. I guess my decisive testimony will help us find our culprit. Uh-oh. Alright. You know who culprit is? That means everyone not have to get punished. Then, after we hear Kokichi's statement, we can take the rest of the day off. And finally go back to my warm, familiar bed in the dorm. Familiar? Huh? You're used to it already? Kokichi, if you had information like that, why didn't you tell us sooner? Because he's fucking like the other guy from the second game. He just wants to fucking make this interesting. That important right away. That wouldn't be much fun. Yep. Anyway, the culprit is Makoto. You're using the same voice actor, if I'm not mistaken. I knew it. Don't do that. Why? Why? Why are we lying now? No, those are bad things. We need truth. Did you hear that? A lie? Now, I know that sounds crazy. No shit, right? Telling a lie in a class trial? But sometimes telling a lie is necessary to reach the truth. But 
Don't worry, there are no lies in this tutorial. From here on out, there will be times in a debate you have to lie. Oh, that sounds complicated. Before you had to refute the lies, but now you'll have to lie yourself. Mmm. Doesn't that get your heart pumping? Here's how it works. Select a truth bullet like normal non-stop debates. But when you hold X, the truth bullet will become a lie bullet. With the opposite meaning. Ooh. Release triangle will shoot the lie bullet. When you use the lie bullet to argue or agree with someone's statement, it will become a perjury. A statement that paints over the truth with lies. What? While lying, your influence gauge will drain. A successful error will restore it. But if you miss your lie bullet, you will take damage, so be careful. You can't beat counter here, but you can pull off V perjury. Oh. And that would be awesome, so try that. Thank you, Muchly. What's the point in lying? Why would I want to lie? May we hear your testimony? Alright. I saw Makoto leave that room by himself, I swear! No! Oh, God. Makoto looked like he had just murdered someone. Before the body was found, I didn't go into that room even once. So Kokichi must be mistaken. This. Oh, uh, I mean, I know what I have to hit, but. May we hear your testimony? After. Before the body discovery. I saw him. Oh, don't leave that room by himself. I swear. Oh. I fucked up. Okay. You mean the crime scene, right? Makoto looked like he had just murdered someone. Okay, cool. May we hear Before the body discovered. I saw Makoto leave that room by himself. I'll turn this lie into the truth. That doesn't make much sense, but okay. Let's well, see how this plays out. Ever since I woke up in the academy, and up until the body discovery announcement, I was with Makoto the entire time. So Kokichi couldn't have seen him. Hmm. Kaede, you'd rather choose a lie than the truth, just to protect Makoto? Do you have any proof to show that I'm lying, Kokichi? Like, why? No, why? I lied about seeing Makoto. Like... Why you? They made this Don't work. I'm sure us. it'll make it work, but that's really weird. Yo, I'm gonna defend my innocence, so I'm gonna s bullshit y'all. Don't. Uh, good luck trying to trust me later. For you to make a false statement when our lives are at risk, I am not amused. I mean, I did the same thing just now. I just wanted Makoto to talk, so I simply tricked him into speaking. Why beat around the bush like that? Because it's still not clear where Makoto was before and after the incident, right? He's not wrong. Oh, man. I totally thought Makoto would talk if we started accusing him. Exactly. We should have let that continue. If I hadn't stopped it, he probably would have said some shit. Responding to an obvious lie with another obvious lie? I don't know about that. Neither do I. Oh yeah! After I heard the body discovery announcement, I checked out the rooms. That idiot was all by herself. And Makoto wasn't even there! It's weird that they would split up after they found out a body had been discovered. I don't get why you would do that. Can you explain, Kaide? Maybe. The game might want me to lie again because fuck it. So I might just say I killed him and then we'll solve this shit. beauty in such a wish. Kaede, your lie is far too fragile and fleeting to protect anyone. Cool. So there was no point in doing that at all. Tell why? You didn't notice, huh? Um, thanks for believing in me, Kaede. 
I thought my lie was too weak. I need to be more convincing if I want them to believe me. Don't lie! You shouldn't have to. This is stupid. Of course, I hope that time never comes, right? We just got dragged around by Kokichi's lies. We didn't clear a single thing up! Exactly. Meanwhile, the remaining time is slowly but surely dwindling. Huh? There's a time limit too? Of course there is. No one wants to watch a literal non-stop debate. That shit's boring. Hell yeah! We'd have to rip and tear into your huge guts just to make it entertaining! Yeah. We know that Hiro brought the murder weapon, the kitchen knife, and bought the culprit in Kaede's room, where the culprit took the knife and killed Hiro. Right. We haven't narrowed down the suspects at all. Kaede and the other two are still suspicious. That hasn't changed yet. Uh, what a pain. Kaede, just confess already. Shut the fuck up, child. I don't need to confess just because it's a pain for you. Yeah, I've already lied and, you know, fucking lost part of y'all's trust, so that's cool. Says that Kaede is the culprit. I think we should listen to him. Your God's stupid. Why am I gonna let them pin me as the culprit for the reason? But if I tell them I'm not, then they might suspect Makoto instead. Stop defending him. Worry about yourself. Anyways, we have to discuss this even further. But what other clues are there? It can't end like this. No one wants an ending like that. The fuck do you mean? So, Hajime, leave this to me. Everyone listen up. Like we said, Kaede isn't the culprit. Do you have evidence that proves that? Also, I don't tolerate lies from anyone. But especially not from degenerate males. Got it? Oh, stop talking. It's no lie. I have the evidence. Something was dropped at the scene of the crime. Right, Kirumi? Talking about the hair? Are y'all about I to out yourselves? It was on the ground. But what about it? There's something else. Kaede, you know what I'm talking about, right? Something off about the crime scene? The hair. Can I just say hair, please? That thing left on the ground, and the fact that something was off about the crime scene. Can you say hair? Hair, Hajime. The word has hair. If we put those two things together, we'll have all the facts. Stop saying things. Say hair. <laughs> you go any further oh why this is just the demo version that's funny hmm mm -mm -mm. but this isn't a real case because they can't they're not in the game are they <laughs> i look forward to seeing you guys start your real killing game semester <laughs> Hey, how was our acting? <laughs> it wasn't too shabby! I especially liked how convincingly you wasted everyone's time! I was a little worried about the end there. Hope it was exciting enough. Well, since we got through it smoothly, that's it for today. <laughs> what the fuck? What is this shit? Smell you later! Good job, everyone. Good job. See ya! Hey! Wait for me! You stupid! But it can't end yet, we forgot to tell the most important part. Oh, that's right. This is an announcement! What's up, guys? Load this demo save data into the full version of the game and you'll get a special reward. So you better save it. So long, farewell! Alright, do you want to save? Uh, yeah. What? Yes. A special item, huh? Damn, we didn't even... We didn't even get to solve the trial! Oh, that's upsetting. That's it, huh? Alright. 
That's a little disappointing. I thought it would like be you know like a fake trial and you saw it, but hey, these are we're all fake. All right, later. Whatever. All right. Well, this is it for the YouTube video, I guess. Uh, it's eight sixteen. It's gotta play for like forty minutes, so. I'll figure out something to do. Might run around a bit and I don't wanna start a forty minute episode of Breath of the Wild. Cause the only thing I really have left to do is the uh whatever. Anyways, I'll figure it out. Uh so YouTube, thanks for watching. My name is Hunter. This is Invited Dumplings live stream, and I'll see you next time.